Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to set up the hoshpodge, and um, that's probably not how you pronounce it, but uh, that's how I like to say it, um, hoshpodge. I think it might be um, hapagi or something along those lines, but I call it hoshpodge. So there's my hoshpodge. Um, on top of that, right oops, there, that is a Logitech X540 controller with the cable, the sound, the audio cables from my TV um, going into the input port on the X540s instead of into my TV because I like the audio on the X540s better than I do on my TV. So I have it set up that way. Okay, so if we pull the iMac out a little bit. Okay, cable's kind of tight. So that's about as far as I can pull it out. And let's take this. I have the controller taped on, so I'll just leave it on because this cable likes to pull this thing down. So let's lift this down. Okay, let me unplug these real quick. Okay, so here's the hodgepodge itself with the out component ports and the in component ports. Have your optical audio out and your optical audio in. The IR blaster, which is fairly remote, your USB 2.0 output, and a 5 volt DC input. On the front, you have S video and standard definition uh, red, white, and yellow component cables with the power button and the normal infrared receiver. So now if we take a look at the cables, there's the cable array right there. And I'll tell you which, which one is. Here, right here, are the component cables from the Xbox. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. And here is a five um, component cables that are the, that come from the hodgepodge to your TV, they're the white ones. Right here is the power and the USB that is running to the back of my iMac. So now if we plug these all back in, I'm going to start with the hodgepodge cables. And these are really, this, they give you really stiff component cables. Um, so I'll put this controller back on after. Okay, let me plug the Xbox in real quick. Make sure those are all in there. Okay, this yellow one doesn't need to be plugged in. Now let's plug the USB and the power. And now we can put this back on. And we'll plug this right here. Okay, that works. So now all the cables are plugged back in. And we will zoom back out. Slide the iMac back in. About right. 
there. That's good. Okay. Move these back in place. Now, from the hodgepodge, I have it going to the. Pull this out a little bit. Move the iMac click out. To the white component cable right here. Going into the component in on my TV. So, move this right down. And I'm also running this TV as a second display for my iMac, and it's running through HDMI to the TV. Okay, so now I'm going to cut and show you how to set up the hodgepodge in the computer.